नमस्ते माय सेल्फ डॉक्टर मिसेस प्रीति सुनील जोशी इन दिस सेशन ऑफ फिजिक्स वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट एडवांटेजेस ऑफ ऑप्टिकल फाइबर्स ओवर कंडक्टिंग कॉपर केबल लर्निंग आउटकम्स आर बाय द एंड ऑफ दिस सेशन स्टूडेंट्स आर एबल टू स्टेट द एडवांटेजेस ऑफ ऑप्टिकल फाइबर्स ओवर कंडक्टिंग वायर्स दीज आर द कंटेंट्स ऑफ दिस सेशन Dear learners what is worse than not having an internet connection or having a slow internet connection Most of us uh, can agree with that as they are well aware of the frustrations caused by having slow internet speed Before the age of wireless internet we had wired dial up internet This type of connection used the phone line to connect to the internet. Countless hours were spent praying for the connection to be successful. Your phone line is occupied when you are connected to the internet. The data transmission rate is rather low. With a rate of 56 kbps or less, you will have a hard time downloading large files. then broadband connections entered the picture which completely changed the internet scene speeds of 2 to 10 mbps became common however this still used good old copper wires as a transmission medium after that internet providers began using fiber as a medium to transmit the signal the reason for this was that the transmission occurred with minimal losses thereby providing much faster internet speeds in 2014 a research group at the technical university of denmark managed to squeeze 43 terabytes per second over a single optical fiber with just one laser transmitter so what makes fiber optic technology so much more efficient than copper wires to answer this question we need to understand how the two mediums of transmission work copper communication works by sending electrical pulses through a copper wire the strength of the signal determines how much of it will be retained by the time it reaches its destination at the destination the wire's electromagnetic field is constantly monitored for changes as the field gets stronger the destination resistors as one that is logic high and if it dips below a certain measurement a zero that is logic low is resisted on the other hand fiber optic cable is made from fine hair like glass fibers that carry light impulses transmitted by an led or laser light rays traveling from a dense medium to a less dense medium speed up at the boundary this causes the rays to bend when they pass from glass to air at an angle other than 90 degree this is called refraction in this case the two layers of plastic form the two mediums on which the reflection occurs the condition that needs to be satisfied for total internal reflection to occur is shown in this image beyond a certain angle called a critical angle all the waves reflect back into the glass and we say that they are totally internally reflected now let us discuss different properties that make fiber optic cable superior to conventional copper cables let's go for the first one that is wider bandwidth fiber provides more bandwidth than copper and has standardized performance up to 10 gigabytes per second and beyond more bandwidth means that fiber can carry more information with far greater efficiency than copper wire then fiber optic cable is much thinner and lighter than copper cable it can be used more efficiently in confined underground pipes and is also much stronger with 8 times the pulling tension of copper wire copper is heavy 100 meters extended distance cable can weigh 20 kilograms 
to get higher speed using copper cable you need to use a higher grade of cable which typically has larger diameters weighs more and takes up more space fiber optic cable weighs nearly 90% less than comparable high performance copper cables depending on the construction this lightweight gives you more options and is much more efficient to work within confined environments fiber cable speed is not connected to its size even an 8 fiber cable is only 5 mm in diameter and smaller than most copper cables then the next one is no crosstalk or data security by its very nature the electrical signaling in a copper network connection generates a field of interference around the cables when you have multiple cables running near one another this interference can bleed into the nearby cables hindering the desired messaging this is referred to as crosstalk and can force expensive retransmission of the message or even pose security risks on the other hand light waves propagating along the optical fiber are completely trapped within the fiber and cannot leak out furthermore light cannot couple into the fiber from sides in view of these features possibility of crosstalk is minimized when optical fiber is used therefore transmission is more secure and private next one of the important advantage we can say is fiber optic cable is much less susceptible to noise and electromagnetic interference than copper wire for example over a distance of 2 km copper wire uh, would experience a great deal of degradation in quality while there would be virtually none over the same distance using fiber optic cable this is so efficient in fact that roughly 99.7 percentage of signal reaches the router in most cases optical fiber is immune to electromagnetic energy because it doesn't conduct electric current copper cables essentially act as an antenna to pick up electromagnetic signals from other electrical systems that are common in an industrial environment copper cabling if not installed properly is vulnerable to interference uh, which can cause errors degradation or complete system failure copper wires need to be carefully shielded in high demand confined environments such as in airplanes and military applications in contrast optical cables can be strung on poles alongside high voltage power cables and are even immune to the electromagnetic pulses generated by nuclear devices then low loss per unit length the transmission loss per unit length of an optical fiber is about 4 db per kilometer therefore longer cable runs between repeaters are feasible if copper cables are used the repeaters are to be spaced at intervals of about 2 kilometer in case of optical fiber the intervals can be as large as 100 kilometer and above after this next one is long distance coverage since data travels in the form of light in optical fiber cable hence a very little signal loss occurs during transmission and data can move at higher speeds and greater distances copper cables are limited to lengths of 100 meters per governing standards longer distances are theoretically possible but may introduce other problems uh, preventing copper uh, from being a reliable transmission method at greater distances the next we will uh, discuss about durability fiber optic cable is completely immune to many environmental factors that affect copper cable the core is made of glass which is an insulator so no electric current can flow through you can run fiber cable next to industrial equipment without any worries fiber is also less susceptible to temperature fluctuations than copper and can be submerged in water and there are many varieties for resisting everything from water and fire to rodents and crushing loads fiber cabling doesn't conduct electricity and so doesn't require lightning protection when used outside 
as fibers are made of insulating materials accidents due to short circuit of high voltage lines cannot occur whereas this possibility is often in copper wire cables next is the cost optical fibers are made from silica which is most abundant material while conventional cable systems use large amounts of copper commodity prices uh, have been steadily falling for the last several years still copper prices are vulnerable to exploitation and their boom and bust cycles which might cause concern over medium term commitments to a particular solution meanwhile the cost for fiber cable components and hardware has steadily decreased copper has an advantage in price over short distances of a few meters but a fiber has less maintenance cost and requires less networking hardware so is less costly for longer runs dear learners we have discussed almost all for copper cable and fiber optic cable now try to answer this question main advantage of fiber optic cable over coaxial cable is students please pause the video and think on this yes let's check the answer of the given options the main advantage is low loss well in the disadvantage uh, we can say installation and maintenance of optical fibers requires a new set of skills that is heavy investment but lastly we must say that optical fiber is the best solution as it can cover longer distance high speed save space resistant to electromagnetic interference etc every year the amount of data we consume increases as do bandwidth requirements investing in a modern fiber optic cabling infrastructure will allow your network to operate at future speeds without replacing the cabling a solid multi fiber backbone in a structured environment will last for years if not decades are likely continue to support increasing bandwidth needs the average life span of a copper category specification on the other hand is a little over 5 years also bear in mind that the technologies and equipment that use cabling generally tend to decrease in cost as time goes by it is therefore probable that higher end connectivity will become even more affordable in the future so optical fibers are future proof thank you